A dire warning from city leaders and the restaurant industry. A wave of independent restaurants and bars could shut down for good unless Congress steps in. As KPIX 5's Dahlin reports in San Rafael, three Bay Area mayors and others are asking the federal government to provide emergency relief money. Many bars and restaurants say business is slowing down because of the Omicron variant. Almost two years into the pandemic, some business owners say they're running out of time. Saturday night at Revel and Roost in downtown San Rafael. Owner Mark Edwards says the latest COVID surge is keeping his restaurant pretty quiet. With the Omicron, I think it's, it almost feels like March 2020, but people are just being more cautious and so they're going out less. He says on average, they're doing about 50% of the business compared to pre-pandemic levels. What can I get for you today? Some people are avoiding restaurants because it's too cold to eat outside. I want to protect the people around us, stay home, stay safe. Sydney Jennings says her family is mostly ordering takeouts. Are these to go? We'll go out maybe once a month, maybe, maybe once or twice a month we, at most, but we really just try to stay at home when we can and just dine in. This is our brisket pasta. With fewer customers and rising food prices, the restaurant industry says it needs help. The Independent Restaurant Coalition and 25 current and former U.S. mayors, including the San Rafael, Oakland, and San Francisco mayors, sent a letter to members of Congress on Friday. They're asking the Feds to give out another round of the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. Last year, that fund helped more than 100,000 restaurants, but it ran out of money, and 177,000 applicants were turned away. They could close. The IRC did a survey a couple months ago, and it, out of the people that didn't get it, 85% weren't sure they could continue. But experts say the request is a long shot. It's just really important we we keep the pressure on. You, you don't you don't get anything if, if everybody just agrees to give up and go away. If we just got a little bit now, it would carry us through the next three three to six months. And I think from there, I think we'd be safe. Time is not on their side, but all they can do now is wait and see if Congress will act. In downtown San Rafael, I'm Don Lynn, KPIX Fox.